Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we return on Kylian Mbappé story with important updates to give you on the story probably of the month together, of course, with Leo Messi and Jude Bellingham, but also something on Declan Rice. So let's jump into it together. And guys, let me start with Declan Rice because while I'm speaking, I can confirm what I said weeks ago, days ago, and I keep saying that Arsenal will bid for Declan Rice. While I'm speaking, they are preparing the official proposal, so Arsenal are on it. The bid will arrive soon, we are just waiting for that moment, but Arsenal will send an official bid for Declan Rice. Stay tuned on the channel, on my platforms, because we have to wait and see when that will happen, but the idea has always been to bid this week. So let's wait and see, but work in progress for Declan Rice to Arsenal and also Bayern sources feel that the player is now oriented, uh, 100% oriented to staying in the Premier League as priority. So this is the situation, up to the clubs now, no problem on the personal terms, but waiting on this official bid coming soon. So Arsenal working on Declan Rice deal. This is an important update for the Gunners. And remember, Granit Xhaka is prepared to join Bayer Leverkusen uh, once this uh, Rice deal will be completed. But mentioning important deals, guys, you can find here on my channel yesterday night's video about Kylian Mbappé. Mbappé communicated to Paris Saint-Germain that he is not going to trigger the option to extend the contract until June 2024. Paris Saint-Germain answer is very strong. Uh, they have no intention to let the player leave as free agent next summer. So only two ways, extend the contract now or for Kylian Mbappé, the chance to be sold immediately this summer. So keep an eye on Mbappé. But I wanted to add something to what I said yesterday. And guys, if you want all the details of the story, you have yesterday's video. But today I wanted to enter on some different kind of details of the story. First of all, PSG uh, sources confirm that they have a contingency plan ready in case Mbappé leaves this summer. So they are absolutely considering the possibility of Mbappé leaving right now. Uh, what's the point? They are really not happy with what happened with the video leaked of Florentino Perez because that was not an official statement or an official interview, but it was just a guy in the street in Madrid a few days ago asking Florentino Perez about Kylian Mbappé. And in that leaked video on social media, uh, Florentino Perez Real Madrid president was saying, yes, I will sign Mbappé, but not this year. This is something that the PSG was absolutely not appreciated. They are really tired of this Mbappé, Mbappé, Mbappé story for Madrid, and in this case, coming from the president. So Paris Saint-Germain were really irritated and not happy at all with that comment, leak it, with that video leak it, of Florentino Perez. Let me clarify one more thing about Kylian Mbappé. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain see this story as very fresh. They received the communication from Kylian Mbappé 24 hours ago, so they still don't have uh, any clear price tag in mind for Kylian Mbappé. When you sell a player like Mbappé, it's not like a normal one. So they have to decide all together, director, owners, uh, all the club uh, about Kylian Mbappé and how much they want to let him go this summer. So this is why this is not clear yet about the price tag. They need to be patient. And then the clubs, guys, because we know uh, Real Madrid will be there for sure. Uh, Kylian Mbappé already apologized to Florentino Perez. It was one year ago after he decided to sign a new deal uh, at Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, it was a shock for Real Madrid, but uh, Kylian Mbappé told Florentino Perez, uh, called Florentino Perez and told him, uh, I apologize for what happened, but this is my decision. So he had an exchange with Florentino and the situation is already clear between Florentino and Mbappé. The point is about Florentino, so Real Madrid, and Paris Saint-Germain. The relationship is not good at all. So let's see how could be the negotiation for this summer, because Real Madrid's original plan was to attack the Mbappé situation in summer 2024. Then, Premier League clubs. Uh, Liverpool tried more than one year ago to approach Kylian Mbappé. This was confirmed also by the player. But now, Liverpool has different priorities and they don't have money to do this kind of deal. Same for Bayern. Bayern already uh, pulled out of the race for Victor Osimhen because it was too expensive, imagine, for uh, Kylian Mbappé. From Chelsea, uh, they had an interest in the situation one year ago to be informed on Kylian Mbappé's situation. But now, the feeling around Chelsea is that they want to do different kind of things. They don't want to enter into crazy things. So, the situation around Chelsea Chelsea and Kylian Mbappé at the moment is quiet. They obviously appreciate the player, but at the moment, uh, they, uh, sources close to them confirm that they are not working on this one, at the least as of now. And Manchester United. Guys, with the Glazers, this is not a topic. 
because Man United are not working on this deal with the current ownership. Let's see what happens in case they will have new owners, because we know the club is for sale. There is this takeover story still on. So let's follow that story and let's see what will happen. Uh, we can't predict the future. Uh, so we have to wait and see on Manchester United. But the reality is that, of course, Real Madrid are working on this deal since long time. We know the childhood dream of Kylian Mbappé is Real Madrid and this has never changed. So let's follow this story. But remember one thing, the negotiation with PSG is a crucial point of this story. It's not just the agreement with Mbappé. So the relationship with PSG is going to be really, really important. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, Declan, Rice and Arsenal, but also Kylian Mbappé with all this possibility. Where do you think is going to end up? I wait for your comments, guys. Here as always, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.